Hi, I'm Taylor Robertson, a robotics software developer in Waterloo. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to edit a search group. I've taught a program with a search, but now realize that my part moves in an additional direction. I'm going to go back into edit, and I'm going to add another search to my program. I'm going to add this search after my first search, and I'm going to go to the last move from that first taught search. From here, I'm going to click add here, and I'm going to add a search. For my new direction, I'm going to unlock the robot and move to my search start point. Hit the green button to record that point. Move the robot into my part. Hit the green button to record my search end. And then I'm going to calibrate my new search. It's going to bump me out to my search start. And then I'm going to hit calibrate. Now that I've calibrated this search, I can see that this search is given the number two. This means it is part of search group two. In my program, my offset that I'm applying is from search group one. Since I would also like to apply this new offset to my weld, I'm going to go and select this new search that I have taught and hit edit group two. This is going to provide me with a selection of the search groups that exist, and I'm going to select search group one to add it to. I'm going to hit OK, and it is going to ask if my search has been calibrated already. Since my part has not moved, I'm going to say it is already calibrated, and I'm going to hit OK. The search group number has now been updated to search group one, so now this new search offset will additionally be applied to my weld. If I go to hit done, it will write my program to the controller and we can now see that I have an additional search added to my program. And that is how you edit a search group.